Hey, what's up everybody? I was just about to stake a bunch of my Solana and thought, why not make a short video on the whole process and throw it up here for anyone who might be interested in learning how to do it themselves. So I will quickly go through one, what staking crypto is, two, how much you can make staking Solana, three, how to select a validator, and four, how to complete the whole staking process. If you're not interested in some of these sections, I'll have links to the different sections down in the, uh, the description box. So go check that out if you wanna just skip ahead. Before we get to everything though, if you're new to the channel, it is all about making, saving, and investing money. The goal here is financial freedom earlier in life. Like and subscribe, I really appreciate all the support and it lets me know you are getting value from these videos. So now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video here today. All right, let's do this. Number one, what exactly is staking? Staking is essentially where you take your crypto and lock up or hold, it depends on the network, your funds or the tokens or whatever you want to call it in a wallet to participate in maintaining the operations of the proof of stake network. So instead of mining, you are staking. You are saying, I will hold these tokens and participate in the validation of transactions on the blockchain. This can, this can slightly vary from network to network, but most networks you delegate to a stake pool or a validator who does all the heavy lifting. The validator wants you to delegate to their pool because on a proof of stake network, the more tokens in their pool, the higher the chance they will be selected to validate a transaction. The validator is then rewarded for validating those transactions on the network and they share those rewards with you, the people in their pool. Real quick, since you might have this question, you, when you delegate your tokens, they are still your tokens. You are not giving up ownership. So that is, don't worry about that, okay? That's what staking is. Let's get into point number two. So how much can you make staking Solana? Currently, at the time of recording this video, it is about 10 to 11% is the amount you can receive staking your, your tokens. You can look this up for yourself on solanabeach.io under the validators tab. When looking at the tab, you will see at the top the staking APY and you will see the list of validators below and the fees that they take off the earnings. So let me bring it up and I'll, I'll explain it as it is on the screen, okay? All right, so here we are on solanabeach.io. You come to the validators tab and then you simply go and you look at staking APY. It's currently at 11.72%. Now, that's not what you get. This is what Solana is currently rewarding their validators at. So if you are staked with Chorus1, whose fee is 8%, they take 8% of the 11.72%. Okay, so let me put the math here. So imagine your pool just earned a thousand soul from validating a transaction. The validator will take their fee of 8% or 80 soul, and then the pool then gets the leftover 920 soul. It's very simple. So they take 8% off the top and then the rest is spread out across the entire pool and people within that pool. So if you own, let's say, 100% of all tokens within a pool, you would then get the 920 soul. If you own 50% of the tokens within the pool, after the validator takes their fees, you would get half or what is that? 920 divided by two, whatever 920 divided by two is. I can't, I can't do math right now. Anyways, recap, you get about 10 to 11% on average after most validators take a fee of about seven to 8%. So that's about what you get. 10 to 11% on average is what you can expect. Now, since we're here, let's talk about point number three, how to select a validator. I'm going to bring it back to me first and we're going to go over the main points and then we're going to go back to the computer and figure out how to select a validator and the points you want to look at. So the things you look for is number one, uptime, Number two is stake percentage, three is fees, and number four is reputable. So let's go through an example here live and we're gonna figure it out what a reputable and how to, how to just select your validator, okay? So let's just do it right here live. Okay, so let's look at any one of these. So what we wanna look at, number one is uptime, but it doesn't really show you uptime on this main screen here. So you have to go through each one and look at their page. So on each page, it will show you what the name is, what their vote key is, what their identity key is. This is going to be important for later on because you want to know what the identity key is because it's going to make it very much easier to search for your validator when you are staking your uh, staking your Solana. Anyways, so you, you have their website, their commission, the uptime. Uptime is probably the most important thing other than reputation because if the 
if the state if the validator is not up most of the time that means you're not earning interest so if normally you can earn 10 percent per year but your validator is only up 50 percent of the time you're not earning 10 percent you're earning more like five percent so you have to be aware of that so make sure you select a validator that has a high uptime usually you want to be above 90 percent above 95 percent is even better so that's what you want to look at that is number one on the list number two is the stake percentage so to see the stake percentage you, you can go back to the main page or you can see it right here is stake 4.64 percent so they have 4.64 percent of the entire amount of solana currently staked so if there is 10 million solana currently staked on the solana blockchain they have 4.6 percent of that 10 million that's how much they have within their stake pool this is kind of what their percent chance of it, it isn't exactly like this but this is kind of like their percent chance of getting chosen to be a validator they have like a 4.6 percent chance of being chosen to be a validator because that is how much soul they own so that is why stake percentage is also very important because the higher the stake percent the more often they will be selected as a validator next is fees fees are also important because you don't want to be paying 100 percent fees because then you won't make any money so fees are it's kind of a balance between everything else so make sure you take into account the fees that you're getting into but usually if it's average about six to eight percent you're paying a decent amount because hey they're taking the brunt of the work for you they're maintaining the network they're maintaining the validator node they're having to pay to keep that up all the time so it's a it's a service you're paying so hey is is it worth the eight percent to let them take care of all the hard work and do all the heavy lifting i think so anyways that's number three number four is reputable so when you're going through and you're selecting your validator you want to go through every single site and verify verify so once you've identified all right this is the uptime percent i want this is take percent i want these are the fees i want to pay then you can narrow it down and say all right let's go to course one let's go to the website and see what they're all about so you want to see okay they have a bunch of networks that they're on they're running a bunch of nodes and stake uh pools you can go to solana you can see what they're expected they say they're earning about 10.5 per seven 10.57 percent is what you're going to earn staking in their pool or about and you can kind of check out all their stuff you can see their social channels terms of service all that stuff about staking on solana so do your research make sure they're a reputable company make sure they're not just blowing smoke and make sure who you're trusting to earn you interest is reputable so make sure they don't just have some stupid website and they're bullshit okay so that is how you find a reputable validator very simple that's that's it for how to select a validator now let's get on to the thing that you probably clicked on the the thumbnail for is how to complete the staking process before I get going here and show you the whole process, there will be quite a few cuts in the video where I'll tell you I'm going to be entering a PIN or a password. The video will cut to after I've entered it, and I'm sure you understand. There will also be blurred areas to protect privacy of accounts, wallets, uh, wallet addresses, and the, the such. So thanks for understanding. Now let's get into it. All right, so I use Soulflare with my ledger. You can use Soulflare with a key store, key store file. This is just what I use for my wallet setup. You can use something else. There's other wallets and platforms that you can use to stake soul with. This is just what I use. This is what I found simple and what works with a ledger, which I like. Real quick, awkward cut here. I realized while editing the video that I forgot an important step is that before you do anything on the ledger itself, you need to go to the Solana app and then you need to go to the settings within the Solana app and select and to enable blind signing. You need to do this because for Solana and for staking, that needs and should be enabled so that things don't get messed up in, in the back end. So make sure you go on the Solana app, go to the settings, and enable blind signing. That's it. All right, let's get back into the video. Sorry. All right, so let's get step by step. I'll walk you through it right now. All right, so here we go. I am on soulflare.com. This is the website. You type it in, you get here, and it gives you an option of either using a key store file or using a Ledger Nano S or Nano X. You come, click on Ledger Nano S, and then you click Access Wallet. Next, it will give you the option to select your derivation path and then select your address. I'm going to be blurring this out, 
as I go through. So you select your path, usually you select the top one, the 44501, and then you select an address that you want. Currently it's showing me ledger device unknown error because my ledger is currently in a sleep mode, so I'll have to bring that up, go to the Solana app on the ledger, and then it will ask me to uh, verify and then enter my pin and all that good stuff. So anyways, let's go through it. I'll select the, I'll, I'll do all that. I'm gonna skip over. Um, when you hit the select address box, it gives you like eight addresses. Doesn't matter which one you select, but make sure you just select the same one every time you access this site. Uh, because if, if you select a different one, it's not gonna show you any of your Solana in your wallet, okay? So you give it, oh shit, where'd all my shit go? And then it, you're, you're panicking and all your stuff is gone. But so just select the same, select the same address every single time and you'll be fine. Doesn't matter if you select a different one and you're like, oh no, I selected the wrong one. And then you just come back to this page and then you select the right one and you'll you'll be good to go again. So just that that's a note to, 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 to take with you. Oh man, long day. Anyways, let's go. I'll, I'll get through this and I will cut back into the video. All right, so cut forward here. I just entered the pin on my ledger and then I hit the access button. Then you right click through your ledger and hit approve you get to the main Soulflare page. Now, if this is the first time you're accessing it, you'll just have your address, you'll have a balance of zero, you'll have no transactions and no staking accounts. All of that will be either blank or empty. Now, it, first first step is to get Soul into your main account. So you just take your address, whatever address you have on your page, and you transfer Soul to it. So if you bought your Soul on a different exchange or a different platform, or you swapped into it, you use this address and you transfer soul into this account. Now, again, it takes a few minutes depending on what platform or what token you're swapping out of to get soul to show up in this account. So just be patient. Eventually it will show up and it'll show up in your balance section here. Now, you want to stake your soul. This is very simple. You can go to the staking tab and here you say create account and then delegate, a, delegate account. So first thing you need to do is you understand that your normal wallet address is not the one that you stake with. You have to create an account and then you stake and delegate that account. So first step here is you select delegate or create account. Then you select how much you want to deposit into your staking account. So I'm going to say 100. 100 soul is what I'm going to put into stake account one. So now what you have to realize here is that when you hit and what, what you're doing when you do this is that it's depositing soul and it will create an account with a seed stake one. So what happens here is you say create my staking account it is going to create a new wallet address and then it's going to transfer a hundred soul that I've selected here into that staking account. And this may take a few minutes to happen. So just be patient as it happens. Eventually it will show up on the Soul Flare page. So don't panic, don't freak out. It's gotta be okay. All right, cut forward in time here. It took about five minutes for it to create the staking account and then for the funds to show up and the account to show up on my Soul Flare page. But now I can go and delegate to a validator. So you click the delegate now button and then now you need to find your, your validator that you want. But this list is not very user friendly to find the one that you chose from the earlier steps. So you go over to the validator on Solana Beach, you go to their page and you select the vote key and you copy that and then go back to the Soulflare page and paste that in and it will, voila, it shows up. Anyways, you then select that as your validator, hit next, confirm on your ledger. So flash forward in time, I confirmed this on my ledger and it's been about a few minutes but it still hasn't updated. Don't worry, don't panic. It takes it a few minutes or, or maybe up to 30 minutes is how long it, the first time I did this for it to actually show up that it has been delegated. Don't worry, it will go through. Now, if you want to undelegate, you simply just click the undelegate button and it will let you confirm on your ledger and then it will undelegate after about a few days. So it depends on where it's currently at in the epoch. It's for about four days for an epoch. so. If you're in the middle of it, it'll be about two days. If you're in the very beginning, it'll be about four days. So if you want to undelegate your funds and then send them somewhere else, sell them, it's up to you. Um, you just have to be aware of that. You don't instantly, you can't instantly get your funds back. 
uh, when you undelegate. So that's that. The other key point here is you don't have to val uh, delegate to the same validator. You can see I have two, uh, two accounts here and so I can delegate to multiple validators. So if I want to delegate to one in here, one over there, one over there, and then spread out my, uh, I guess you could say risk, uptime risk, it, that's a way to reduce that overall risk. Now, you can see it's still waiting, it still hasn't shown up, it still hasn't refreshed that it's uh, delegated, but it will. Let's bring it back to me and wrap this video up. So that is, that's it. That's very simple of how to go and stake your Solana. Very simple. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Again, guys and gals, hopefully this helped you out. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. it lets me know that you actually like enjoy this content, that you want to see more of it. And I'm here to serve you guys. You, this, th that's what I'm, you are my cust you are my customers. And so I am trying to provide you valuable content that is good for you and i don't know if i'm providing that unless you guys smash the like button so let me know in the comment section below too that this is the stuff you want to see or what else you want to see in the future i'm here for you guys guys and gals let's go make some money see you out there